Uh, now I'm at the simulator with the Boeing Starliner, and my commander is? Tony Castilleja of our Boeing space team. So, sir, destination? The destination is the International Space Station, and the simulator provides uh, those who are here at IAC Bremen the opportunity to do a manual docking to the space station. In the real Starliner, you're along for the ride. The vehicle flies itself. So you have to be really like a highly trained commander for an <laughs> off-nominal situation in case it does not dock the way like with Soyuz now. It docks automatically, but if it doesn't, commander can dock it manually, right? We have a fantastic team in Houston that is training our astronauts today, both in engineering, from an engineering standpoint as well as from a guidance navigation and control, uh, identifying and training our astronauts in the manual aspects of this vehicle. Um, the main training of our astronauts is ensuring that if there is an element that does have a anomaly that the astronaut has the right amount of buttons and switches necessary to be able to what we call safe the vehicle again and either put it back into autonomy or continue continue with a manual docking and so what we're doing right here we're about three meters away from the international space station and coming in for a manual docking um, it, with a translational hand controller uh, we'd also include a rotational hand controller and and again if it is extremely similar to the training systems we have at NASA Johnson Space Center right now. This is so cool, and there are so many buttons. I'm terrified. The only I can only operate this line, one big red abort button, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Most people recognize abort button. It actually has a lot less switches in the space shuttle. So from a training perspective, it is actually much uh, a little bit easier than uh, previous space vehicles. Um, but overall, uh, you go from landing landing panel switches to battery switches and keypads and displays that allow the astronaut the right amount of information to always be able to take over if required. So how close are we to docking? We're about 0.6 meters away from the International Space Station, right in the corridor here uh, near the end. And as we come in for final docking, uh, the vehicle is quite exact in its approach. So vehicle is exact or you're operating? You yes. Docking success. Docking success. Do we see that? Docking success. And that's how we train our astronauts every single day. And it's really great to have uh, those attending here in Bremen to experience what astronaut training is like because we will have more astronauts because of this Boeing Starliner, both from the United States and from commercial space flight here in the future. Boeing Starliner, the future of human space flight. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for flying with us. Did I collect miles? Uh, it'll be quite <laughs> a few miles moving so quickly.